Okay. Praise the Lord. I, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Well, uh, take your mask off. Okay. Uh, glory to God. To God be the glory. Um, by the grace and the love and the mercy of God, you are listening to the voice of Evangelist Jesse Charo. Uh, and I brought my... Um, actually, what this is supposed to be is a white robe. Let me see over here. This is supposed to be a white robe, right? But when I saw it, uh, I, it said uh, La Las Vegas, and I really, it really caught my eye because it's in red. And the only way you can go to heaven from the city of Las Vegas is through the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Christ. That's why he was sent uh, unto the world. Amen. He was with God. And uh, he created all things with God. He was with God. I'm going to get into some scriptures. And uh, today is April the four, or the the 12th, April the 12th, uh, 2021. To God be the glory. We just uh, celebrated the resurrection of Jesus Christ. You know. Um, happy Easter to all of you and uh, but the Lord is risen indeed he is not in the tomb anymore uh, come and look and see where the Lord laid he is not here he is risen he is up there let me get my things here right uh, up in heaven and he is seated at the right hand at the right hand not the left hand okay so listen to this this is my right uh we'll get into that later okay when when stephen hallelujah father i give you praise i give you glory i give you honor i just want to show off our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, hallelujah, that he came, he was sent by you and from you to do a work, and this job was only going to take two boards and three nails. And when it was, when he said, it is finished, the voice of God from heaven said this is my beloved son in whom i am well pleased and this is what we want to do we want to be well pleasing to the lord amen so now as as god sent the lord jesus christ jesus christ the baptizer with the holy spirit that now lives in our hearts right that we cry out abba father born again john chapter 3 so, as the Father sent the Son, the Son sent the Holy Spirit because He says, I must go because if I don't go, the Holy Spirit will not come. But I will send you another, another one. This is going to get good. This is going to get good. Um, another helper, counselor, mighty God everlasting and and his name shall be called okay I'm called different different names okay and and um, uh, this is so beautiful and so heavy uh, it is so heavy to even try to explain because the Lord is risen indeed. Our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, He rose from the dead. He has a form. He has a body. He has a white robe. And, and you're going to get a white robe. I'm going to get a white robe. Um, I was taken to heaven in 1987. And I am standing before the throne. The throne of God. The throne of Jesus. And I saw 
our Lord and Savior Jesus sitting on the throne. And I knew who he was in 1987 because he was the same one that saved me in the city of Las Vegas in 1986 when I was trying to commit suicide. I didn't want to live anymore. I, I was just, I couldn't even hold a job anymore. I, I just didn't want to, I just wanted the easy way out. And that was to go uh, to the top of one of the hotels uh, here in the city of Las Vegas and just jump. And there was another voice speaking with me that said, you know what, you're uh, Jesse Charo, you know, you just no good no more. You just, you just, you just no good. And you start listening to the voices that, you know what, you're telling me the truth. Yeah, 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 you're right. Uh, I'm no good. Why don't you just go ahead? Go ahead. And, uh, I'm going like, go ahead. I, I'm at the top of the hotel. I'm looking down at the pavement. Fremont Street experience. Fremont Street, um, looking down at the pavement, and then I, 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 like the prodigal, he had to come to his senses, snap out of it. What am I doing? That's when I came down. I remembered that the Lord, before I went up there, see, because the Lord goes before you. The Lord already knows what you're going to do tomorrow, what you're thinking of doing. Uh, he knows that uh, there's people who want to uh, try to commit suicide and this and that. That's why the Lord now, through the Holy, He sent us the Holy Spirit. Now, through the Holy Spirit, we go, Acts 1-8, and you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come in the inside of you, and you shall be witnesses unto me. First in the city of Las Vegas, and then the Philippines, and then, and then, uh, Africa, India, Pakistan, Mexico, Cuba, and around the world. Amen. And, and this, this, this is Philippians 1, 6. Be confident of this very, very one thing, that Jesus, who begun a good work in you and me, he, he's going to perform it. He's going to finish it until the revelation of Jesus Christ. I'm going to be talking about this Jesus. I'm not going to be talking about a different Jesus. You know, because everything that Paul got, the Apostle Paul, he got it by the revelation of Jesus Christ. He didn't go to Rhema Bible College, uh, um, Baptist College uh, seminars. Uh, he, didn't, he didn't have to go to the Catholic uh, Church. He, didn't have, he got it by revelation of Jesus Christ. Amen. And, and, and everything we get. Now, uh, Deuteronomy 29, 29, Jeremiah 33, 3, you call upon the name of the Lord and, and he will show you great and mighty things, yea, even the deep things of God through the Holy Spirit is able to reveal unto you secret things that you don't even know. Come up here. He told John, uh, Revelation chapter 4, verse 1, come up hither. And immediately, uh, John is a type of the church that it was taken up. When he says, come up here, you're gone, Baba. You're either gone or you're going to stay here playing football with these people. You're going to be left behind. Okay? Because there's some people that don't, don't, don't believe. There's some unbelievers are uh, right now I, by the spirit of the Lord it's showing me that right now people are going like ah, don't listen to this guy okay if I got yes Lord yes Lord yes Lord listen if I got 5,000 members which I do and glory be to God they all inbox me um, uh, messenger and all that uh, you don't see too many people talking to me uh, 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 in front of Facebook because other people are watching. Okay, so if I got 5,000 members on uh, three or four different accounts and I will lose from 5,000, I bet you I would lo probably lose 3,000 in one video because I'm speaking the truth. Okay. Listen, listen, listen by the Spirit of God. Mormons are teaching their children. Jehovah Witnesses are teaching their children 
How do I know? It's because here at the park, so one kid will come over and see me reading a Bible or something like that, and one of them came up. He said, "Wow, are you are, are you a, a, a are you a missionary, a Mormon missionary?" I said, "No, I am born again. In order to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again." The other day. Uh, at the other park, he says, uh, one kid comes over, he says, are you a Jehovah Witness? Children, 10, 11, 12, 13 years old. They get him at the park. They come to the park because these people, they don't go to church. So you, 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 you come to the park where they're just relaxing, doing nothing, and, and share. Okay, so this is what I, I, I want to say, is that Mormons or bringing up Mormons, converting them. Jehovah Witness, converting them, okay? Now, when the kid, uh, Catholics, Catholics, and all different religions, the uh, Muslims and all that, all th they're being uh, trained from the inside, okay? So now, so when they go to the world, oh no, Lolo and Lola was Catholic, I'm Catholic and I'm gonna die Catholic. Okay, okay, hey, take it easy. I'm Mormon and my 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 uncle, my uh, my, my grandma, my, my grandpa, they all Mormons. They all, we are Jehovah Witnesses. Are you born again? I don't care what you are. I don't care what you are. In order to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again. And how do you get born again? It's by the Holy Spirit that this Jesus that I'm going to be talking about, uh, He will uh, send you another one, comforter, right? And He will lead you and guide you and teach you all things. Whatever you want to know, call upon the name of the Lord. Ask Him. Ask him, Lord, I come to you and I ask you to reveal unto me. Jesus will reveal unto you. Thank you, Lord. Jesus will reveal unto you Matthew 11, 25, 26, 27, 28. 25. Jesus will reveal you the Father. And the Father, no one knows the Son except the Father. And no one knows the Father except the Son. And to whom he wants to reveal unto you. God is able to reveal unto you Jesus. Okay, the Father will reveal you unto Jesus. Jesus will reveal you the Father. Hey, you want to get to know my dad? I just lost 1,000. Just, just what I just said. I just lost. People just ran. Because they, they're, they're, they're not they don't want to, they don't even want to want to hear the truth so that they can be made free and set free. I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth by the power of the Holy Ghost that you would listen uh, to the Word of God and start believing not what Lolo taught you, not what your bishop, your apostle, your, you know, uh, Jesus in the uh, Revelation chapter 2 and chapter 3 he says I, you know what those that you hate those that call themselves apostles and, and, and they found them liars a lot of people uh, thank you Lord I'm going to the Philippines next month keep me in your prayers in the name of Jesus Christ because God has a message to the Philippines. Apart from Jesus, I'm dead. Apart from God, the Father, I'm dead. Apart from the Holy Ghost, I'm dead. Apart from Him, I can't do nothing. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me. Lord, help me to, to teach at least one. One that, that will obey the scriptures so uh, I might have to go into uh, two 
two, three videos just on Jesus, just on Jesus. And uh, um, the very first one, listen to this. John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Baptizing people. Baptizing people. Baptizing in the, in the, in the Jordan River. In the, in the river. The water. Emerging on water. Uh, I, I, I got water baptized too. And, and it's almost like, you know, where are the white pigeons I'm supposed to see? And where is that voice that's supposed to come down and say, This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased? Nothing. Nothing. I went home. I said, they dumped me in that dirty water. 20 people went before me. That f filthy water, I'm clean. I said, I got to go home and take a, take a good shower, good bath, because, man, that, that I look at that water, and man, all the sins of the, all these 19 people that went before me, I must be full of sin now. And what did I know? You're a babe in Christ. You're a baby Christian. You don't know too much. You don't know too much until you get the Holy Ghost in the inside of you that the Holy Spirit will teach you all things. And I pray right now. Uh, I, I pray that you would call upon the name of the Lord. Uh, 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 Abba, Father, I thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus, I thank you for your Holy Spirit. The Spirit of Jesus has been shed abroad in our hearts by which we cry out, Abba, Father. The Holy Spirit in our hearts. That's how you get born again. John the Baptist had a relationship, communion with God. Not with Jesus because he, he didn't know Jesus. The Father had to tell John the Baptist, I'm going to show you who he is and when he comes, you're going to see. So it's is when when John the Baptist turned, he says, "Behold, the Lamb of God." He says, "The the one where you see is, is the Holy Spirit come down on him. That's that's my son." He didn't say, "I'm gonna duplicate me." Uh, he is that that's that's another part of me. That's another father. Uh, that's confusing already. No, no. The Son of God, the Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Let me give you a good one. In the book of Revelation, if you study the book of Revelation, just read it. You're going to see angels are there, thrones are there, uh, people with uh, white robes, uh, crowns, trumpets, and angels. and, and But you, you're going to see that it talks about the throne of God. The throne of God. Okay, right. You like that one, right? And of the Lamb. The throne of God and the throne of the Lamb. But hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I just lost one more thousand right there. You read it for yourself. Don't receive everything you hear just because he's your, your bishop and your apostle and your prophets. God talks about false apostles, false prophets, false evangelists, false pastors, and false teachers that are teaching these other people wrong. No, Jesus is the Father. I just, I just gained 1,000 right there. Uh, 1,000 just added, were added because I said that Jesus was the Father. Nowhere in Scripture, He shall be called the Father, Mighty God, Everlasting. Uh, all these things, He's going to be called. But the Father is His Father. I didn't come here to do my own will, but the will of Him who sent me. Him who sent me, person number one, person number two, I just lost the 1,000 that, that were just added. What? Person number three? Woo! Out of 5,000, now I only got 1,000 members. <laughs>
uh, 1,000 <laughs> Facebook friends. <clears throat> the truth about Jesus Christ. God the Father had a re relationship with John. Okay, uh, meaning to say this, a lot of people believe in God, but don't know Jesus. Don't know Jesus. Okay, a lot of people want to argue with this one. I will argue argue this one with you. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was a, a little, not capital G, little, little G. That's Mormon, Mormon and that's Jehovah Witness, and you got the wrong Bible. It don't say that. Some of you guys need to throw your, uh, if it says that in your Bible, you better get rid of it. Don't even give it away to anybody else. Uh, throw it in the garbage. Or keep it. I, I used to keep uh, uh, those those Bibles, Mormon Bible, uh, Jehovah Witness Bibles, the New Translation and all this. I said, let's read together. Let's read. Out loud, you read yours and I'll read mine. Okay. In the beginning was the Word. Jesus is the Word. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was God? No. The Word was with God. Jesus being the Word, He was with God. How can you mix, mess that up? Okay? And the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Yes, Jesus is God. I'm going to show you through Scripture. Jesus is, is, is God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. They are God. No doubt about that. And, and, and God created uh, everything, and by Him, John... Okay, watch. And the word was with God. I was in the vehicle, and there was uh, my wife and, and myself, and my wife was with me. My wife was not in me. I was not inside my wife. Okay? <laughs> because Jesus has a a form, a body, a shape as his father. Um, I got teachings on that on my uh, other uh, YouTube channels. Uh, Prophecy Unfulfilled, Jesse Charo, YouTube. Prophecy Unfulfilled. Uh, check out those videos. Uh, the other one is Evangelist Jesse Charo on YouTube. Evangelist Jesse Charo. I got some teachings. They're, 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 they're so beautiful. They're so beautiful. I do not lie. Uh, uh, the other one is uh, YouTube Jesse Charo. Uh, to God be the glory. Amen. You want to look at those videos because uh, I have some teachings on there. And, and, and not only that, I, I got videos that I addressed to, to Bush, President Bush. Uh, the Lord has told me to write some letters uh, to to uh, President Obama and now to President George W. Bush. And I better hurry up and send some letters to Kamala Harris. Uh, Kamala Harris, uh, I have to be obedient and address. I, I do have some videos on my YouTube channel that the videos are addressed as uh, could Kamala Harris be that woman of Revelation chapter 17 because uh, it was granted power to give unto her uh, glory <laughs> oh this is beautiful Oh, I'm glad I brought my Bible. Revelation 17, 17. Watch. Seventeen, seventeen. Here it is. Um, wow. 
And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, uh, these shall hate the whore, that prostitute, Babylon, that, that uh, this woman will be one with the Antichrist, she'll be one with the Pope, one world leaders, one world religion, one world, one world, they're a team. Just how you get, got the Father, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, well here you're gonna get Satan and, and, and the Antichrist and, and the woman, and it, it, I got some videos, you look up on my YouTube channel, and it says, could Kamala Harris be that one that's gonna behead the people. Watch, uh, watch. Will hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Verse Revelation 17, 17. For God has put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. God has put it in their hearts. If Obama is gonna be, which I really believe that Obama is gonna be one of the heads of, uh, of, of of the organization, it, it's an ugly organization. Just how the Satan has his his generals and and all these other uh, members in in his team. Okay, is that organized crime? And they're full of the devil, and they're gonna play these roles. Somebody's gotta play this role, right? Satan's going like, man, who will go for me and who is going to go kill and behead all these Christians in the Great Tribulation? Obama could be like, hey, you know what? Check out my application. I used to be President of the United States of America. Wow, I mean, he's got ranks. Okay, he came in the scene, it's only to pick up some credit. Right? So that when he puts the application to, to be one with the Antichrist and one with with that woman. This is uh Mr. Obama here, man. You got you got well, you a bad boy. I like bad boys. Well I tell you what, Jesus likes bad boys too. He took Saul who became Paul. He said, you know what? Paul, he loves to kill people. Oh, man, he loves to throw people in prison, man. Yeah. And Paul, and Saul, he a bad boy. I'm going to make something out of him, right? Can anything good come out of Las Vegas, Nevada? Can anything good uh, come out of the city of Las Vegas? Sin City, Sin City, come and see what the Lord is, is doing in people like us, like me and you, if, you, if you're in the city of Las Vegas. The reason I have the uh, Las Vegas, Nevada is, is because I was taken from Las Vegas to the very throne room of God. I saw, you see that glory, do you see that light up there? That's what God looked like. But I saw a form, a shape, a form, a shape because Watch my other videos on the other my YouTube channels. I talk about uh, God the Father. He has his own um, glorified body of a spirit body. A spirit body. God the Father. Now, our Lord and Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, he is risen from the dead. He's got his own body. And, and, and Jesus' body cannot get into Abba Father's body, and Abba Father's body cannot get into Jesus' body because they are two different distinct individuals. I just done lost 4,500. I just lost 4,500. <laughs> uh, glory to God. Uh, I'm going into the 30 minutes. I'm going to go into part two, uh, part two of... Um, uh, I'm figuring, uh, figuring uh, the truth about Jesus Christ's body, the truth about Jesus Christ's resurrected body. Uh, let's go to recording number.